Hi, I'm Scott Daly for Statera Homes. Today I want to go through very quickly uh, five things I think that are going to be very important for you to know if you're interested in purchasing a new Delaware home. These five things will hopefully save you a lot of heartache and a lot of time as you go through it and you start to select uh, your builder and what you want in your house and just I'll, I'll kind of give you a framework on, on how to exactly work through the house. So fact number one is this is the buyer pays for everything. Uh, I don't know how to put this more simply, but if you're bringing money to the table, you're paying for everything. There's a lot of gimmicks in the new home business about incentives and prices and all that. And the reality is this, is you're, you're paying for everything. Nothing is free when you're buying a new house. Uh, they're not giving you free anything. They're changing the pricing of their options. They're changing their standard feature list. They're changing the base price of the house. Uh, so that if they're giving you money off of their options or they're giving you money off of the base price, um, they're not giving you anything. You're, you're paying what you're paying regardless of how they get to the bottom line number. And you really encourage you to cut through all that and just get to the bottom line uh, price. Uh, in, in our business, uh, incentives and discounts and things like that are what's called closing tools. They're things that the builders use to get you to go ahead and sign uh, your contract. You're not necessarily saving any money. So that's fact one. Nothing is free. Fact two, all new homes use less energy. All new homes use less energy. Uh, the Sussex County Delaware Building Code uh, sets a standard of uh, 2012's energy code, uh, which is very efficient, which is probably 50% more efficient than what was built six years before that in 2006. So when you talk about green building and energy savings and all that, there's a whole uh, a lot of hype that is given and, and, and ways that you kind of scare people off and builders say we're building this incredibly energy efficient house. The truth is everybody's house is pretty energy efficient and the differences between most of the builders here are very small. So if you have a builder that's out there saying this house is going to save you all this money, um, the chances are that if they're being very honest with you, which they may well be, that, that most of their competition is going to save you uh, the same amount of money when you look at it. Uh, unique fact number three is the reality is most people are on a budget and so purchase your structural items first. Um, so if you if you know where you want to live and you know the type of house, uh, we would really encourage you uh, if, that if you're on a tight budget or you're getting near the, the max part of your budget, purchase your structural options. Like you can't go back and put a basement under a new house. Uh, adding a sunroom later is going to be much more expensive than whatever you pay for the builder. Uh, so if you have to make choices, and just about everybody does in a new house, uh, make your structural choices. Uh, things like hardwood and granite and all those fancy things that everybody loves that are in models, uh, to be perfectly honest, those things uh, can be added later. Um, fact number four would be to think about transaction costs in your budget. Uh, Delaware has a great cost of living here. Our property taxes are, are low. The cost of living in general here is pretty low, but Delaware has some pretty high transactional costs. It includes a 4% transfer tax. So if you're talking to a builder, you're gonna wanna make sure that you know exactly what those uh, costs are gonna be. There are transfer taxes, there are impact fees, and all these things vary. In some places, you pay the impact fee separately from the sales price. Some builders will split the transfer tax, which is typical in real estate transactions in general, and some builders won't. Um, but when you're coming up with an overall budget, I think that is something that you really wanna understand uh, first and foremost, because it's gonna add to the ultimate amount of money that you're gonna need to purchase uh, your home. And if you're talking about a $500,000 house, and the builder doesn't split the 4% transfer tax, that's $20,000 that you have to account for in your budget. Uh, and so that's something to, to be aware of and it's something that you wanna ask early in the process. Fact number five, and then we're done, is this is know the builder's warranty. Uh, any builder that is worth a darn is gonna give you a copy of their warranty. Usually today it's gonna be an electronic copy and that's something that you're gonna to wanna to look at before you sign your contract. Most sophisticated builders are going to have you acknowledge in their contract that you read the warranty uh, or the, they'll call it the limited warranty. That's a big word and, and, and it's the term we use it too, the limited warranty. Uh, so that way you know, here's what the builder is going to do and here's what the builder isn't going to do after settlement. So I'm Scott Daly for Statera Homes. 
Have a great day. We love educated people when they come in to, uh, to purchase our homes. And these are five very quick and easy facts that are going to help you in your building process. Thanks.